Morgan's got a new scooter, one with a seat. It's an e-scooter. Dad, what do you do with bumblebee? Bumblebee's for you. Right there. Ooh. Now let me see you go out. It's got a seat. Hooray! I'll let you be taking this back around the car. See you later. That's good. That's good. Saturday evening's weather. The rain came on at half past six. And that's it on now. It might go off. So it's the 15th of June. And that was forecast, heavy rain, but also thunder. Sunday morning, light rain. Happy Father's Day. Maggie's got a present for Daddy for Father's Day, haven't you? Heroes? Is Daddy your hero? <laughs> I've been standing here at the door just listening to that bird singing and I've been trying to whistle back to it. still singing, it's still whistling rather. Um making cottage pie. I was going to make turn up with it but I don't really like cutting up turn up and then cooking it because the potatoes are nearly ready, I'm going to mash them. Mince is all cooked and ready, I've just put the gravy in it so then it's going to get put in the oven and that'll be Sunday's dinner today. Now that wee bird's away, it's not on the tree anymore. Isn't it how quiet it is? Well, apart from the cooker. It's went somewhere else. Still raining. It hasn't stopped all day. I don't know what the birds have got to sing about. Do you know that mince beef just smells delicious. Plenty of carrots in it and there's onions, so maybe half peas with it. It's easier opening a tin than it is to chop up turnip. I'll go and mash the potatoes and then get it into the oven. Dear, some of the gravy has escaped, but the potatoes are quite crispy, so I'll just dish it up for Tam and I, and uh, I don't even know if I want a dessert, I was thinking about ice cream, but we'll wait and we will see, shall we? There we have it, cottage pie, I was looking forward to turn up, but it just wasn't going to happen, so... It smells yummy. Let's hope it tastes yummy.
This is like nearly three hours later. The bird's back. I wonder if it's the same one. She's growling. Well, I've just had the loveliest bath. So Tam's watching the football. I think it's Italy, I don't know. I've washed my hair, I put a treatment in it. I'll let you see that in a wee minute. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to watch television. I don't know what's on. Um, I'll have a look. So anyway, I just gave it a quick a dry. I, I just didn't feel like, you know, trying to even style it. But as of now, I've been in, I've had a nice bath. I have exfoliated face, neck, my body as well because I'm going to um, be trying some self-tanning stuff. Now, I got this stuff a while ago. I probably did a, a haul on it. Um, where are you? Now, it's Tan Lux. I'll put the prices on the screen and I thought I'll give it a go. It is the gradual, Tan Lux gradual Illuminating Gradual Tan Lotion. So I thought I'll get my skin prepared so that there's no rough patches there. Um, and we'll do it. I won't, I won't put this on, letting you see me putting it on. The facial one I might do, uh, so, you know, that'll be in another vlog. The facial one, it's not that one. It's this one. I just love the V container it's in. Tan Lux again, and it's the face. Illumination Self Tan. I'll need to put my glasses on to see that. It's smaller writing. Excuse the nails. I actually meant to do them before I went into the bath, but there you go. Um. So, yeah, and I'm going to try that. So, I thought I need to exfoliate, moisturise. You add this to your moisturising cream, by the way, between 1 and 12 drops. Tells you not to add any more than 12 drops. I'm going to try a wee bit maybe in the inside of my leg, my thigh, where it can't be seen. <laughs> and see how dark it turns out. Or even the inside of my arm, I'll see. So that is a video that's going to be coming up and we'll see how good it is and if it makes me look any healthier. It might, it might not. But before I do that, I'm thinking of getting my eyebrows microbladed because they're practically non-existent. And even when I try to draw them in, it still doesn't look right. So, again, this is all because of the way I've been feeling about myself. I, I've just not, I've just not felt very confident. I think my hair's a mess. My makeup's not sitting right. I'm getting that many lines, which is only natural. I'm nearly 68. But I just thought, well, rather than just moan about it, do something about it to maybe make it look a bit better. So that's what I'm doing. And I'll let you come with me and follow this, this wee experiment, shall we say. So exfoliating-wise, this is nearly finished. This is from Lush Ocean Salt. Now, I've had this quite a while. I cannot remember how much it was. I'll try and get the price and put it on the screen for you. It's just a small tub. You can do your face with this and your body. Then when I got out the bath and I had dried, I used the Garnier Moisturising Cream. So I just thought if I exfoliate, moisturise, same with the face, um, That'll at least have prepared my skin before I start putting any self-tan lotion on. Um, the other thing I did my hair with, now again, I bought this a while ago. It's Olaplex. Is that from the same people? Hold on. 
all the things you do. No, it isn't. Take home Olaplex, the original hair perfect. It says number three, so I don't really know a lot about it. It says it repairs and strengthens all hair types. I did use it, um, but my hair is needing the roots done and it's needing cut. So no matter what I do, I don't think anything would help my hair. Strengthens it, maybe. You use this before shampooing. You put it on damp hair. And then you leave it on for 10 minutes and then you rinse it off and then you shampoo and conditioner. So that's what I've done. Well, I'm telling a lie. I didn't condition. Maybe that's how it doesn't look as if it's too good. Uh, I, I just couldn't be bothered, to be honest with you. It's a lot of work for me to do all this because of the sore joints I've got. But I did it anyway. And it was, it was difficult. It took me a long time to do it. And I just kept thinking, oh, I wonder if there's any salons you can go to that would do your exfoliating for you, but I don't think so. So anyway, we'll give it a go. Um, so yeah, so I didn't condition it. And I just gave it a quick dry rather than... I usually try to take my time and style it. Again, with the joints, it's, it's not that easy for me. So I'm just looking at things that might be able to make things a bit easier for me and uh, I have been on a downer just so we have been and then I took ill and then Tam became ill and so anyway I'm not going to blather on about it I will be doing a video you will see me putting the facial stuff on and up when I'm probably exfoliating it but these it will be different videos not just now and uh, we'll see how it goes so I think that was everything I used in my bath apart from my scooter deodorant and what was that? Oh yeah, I did shave my legs. I don't I'm not really a hairy person. <laughs> my legs I get a bit stubbly, so I shaved them before I exfoliated and did all the rest. So I'm going to love you and leave you now. I'm actually feeling a bit tired. I'll be lucky if I see any television. Still light out as it doesn't get dark to after 10 o'clock now. But anyway, me and Ba are just going to sit. If I start to fall asleep watching the TV, I'll just put the lamps out and just cuddle up. Get an early night. Do me good. Good night's sleep. Okay then, so I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Today, as I say, has been Father's Day and Tam got a few cards. He got some boxes of chocolates, but some of the family, because Tam wasn't well, we cancelled them coming up. Tam's family was supposed to come up on Saturday, yesterday, and my daughter, one of my daughters, was supposed to be coming today with a card and a gift. So they'll we'll just need to get it during the week and Tam's, some of Tam's family are just going to come up next Saturday visiting so any cards and gifts they got him you'll get them then it's it's just a pity, it, just doesn't, it wasn't up to it, it really wasn't up to it and to be honest with you neither was I so anyway I hope you have all had a lovely weekend and uh, as I said happy Father's Day but that's to all the fathers obviously if there's any watching I think the viewers on my channel are mostly female. So anyway, I hope you've had a nice weekend anyway, whatever. And I will see you in the next vlog. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving me a thumb up. And thanks for commenting as well. Bye.